After a little break, we're back. With me tonight is... A sub ticket poster. Indeed. So we're back in Kingston, and we'll be staying here pretty much the entire video. There is much to be done. Jamaica, man. Yep. I was actually telling this story earlier in an early video, but when I heard the uh, sort of sales pitch for this game at the start when they named all the major cities, and one of them was Kingston, I thought they were talking about Kingston, Ontario. I'm like, <laughs> what's the appeal of going to Kingston, Ontario? But no, they're, they're talking about Jamaica. Welcome. Although I think in Rogue, you actually can go to a small part of Canada. So there's that. Where's that one set? Uh, Rogue sort of takes place in the North Atlantic. One of the cities is New York. The other is sort of around uh, Eastern Canada. And the other is sort of in the uh, river valleys of the Eastern North America. Canada oh, wow. and upstate New York, sort of. That's a pretty cool outfit. Yeah, it even has this Jolly Roger on the back, too. It looks just like skinny and sweet, except for the crossbone and skulls on the label. If anyone gets that reference, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I got nothing. But yeah, I actually still do have to play uh, Rogue, but right now I'm playing Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun with it, but man, some of those missions, they are so fucking annoying. So have you continued playing Unity at all? Um... No, I got... I don't even know how far in I got. Things, of course, went to shit. And he broke out of prison. And I think I've just got to do the mission before he becomes a full-fledged assassin. Like, this is his last trial. I see. So I'm a little ways in. I assume the introduction is not as long as three. Oh god, no. It's much, much, much better. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I'm I think I made. Oh, I made it in three far enough to get the boat and do a little bit with the boat, and after that, I was just like, ah, fuck. Mm -hmm. And that was like nine hours in. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing how long the tutorial in that game is, or not really the tutorial, sort just of the intro. Yeah, sort of the opening act of the plot. But, as you can see, sort of the unidentified southern part of the map, we haven't explored it at all. That is Port Royal, and you could swim across the, the sea to get there. A much faster way is taking a boat that'll send you right to Port Royal. Luckily, this is the first Assassin's Creed game where you can use view, viewpoints as uh, fast travel stations really helps not going over the same city like 80 times. Oh, I don't think I noticed that. I did notice it in Unity, though, because yeah. they put little markers on it at least, saying, hey, you can fast travel here. Yeah, this is this is definitely the first one that game Assassin's Creed that used that idea. And these Save the Pirate events, they only pop up if you're missing a full crew. Uh, the guys who are scheduled to execute the pirates... If they see you at all, their AI is programmed to just instantly kill those guys. And the same thing if you trigger any... Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> really appreciate it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if the guys who are holding the pirates hostage see them, see you at all, they, their orders are just to instantly kill them, and that's not nice. And hey, we've got four on one. Let's see how long it takes them. Not too bad. No, he's oh, still going. He's not dead yet. Is he 
dead? No, he's still ticking. <laughs> Don't hire those guys, they're really bad. <laughs> Finally he dies. <laughs> yeah, the AI, not exactly efficient at killing itself, I guess. There's not, there's actually not much in Port Royal. There's some treasure chests and some secrets. Uh, basically, Port Royal is has a big British fort in it. And if you know anything about how Assassin's Creed games typically go, anytime there's like a huge, unique area of a map, like a fortress, it'll inevitably be used for a mission later on. And only once. Yeah, it's only one mission Port Royal is actually relevant at all, but it's a fairly elaborate one. Yes. So yeah, this is one of those missions where uh, the guy, as soon as you get anywhere near him and he sees you, he just instantly starts running. That's why there was no stealth bonus for this mission. He's pretty fast, but thankfully uh, he can't outrun bullets. Assuming I can get a beat on him. But he's currently like shoving over half the population here. <laughs> Ooh, trick shot there. There, got him. But just like uh, Notre Dame in Paris, I'm pretty sure that's used for a mission at some point. That's, yeah, that's where I'm at, where I have to complete my mission. Oh, there you go. I don't know if it get used again. We'll see. It's kind of too cool not to. Why go to the trouble of modeling that thing if you're only going to use it once? Yeah, I, I figure. Just like the Colosseum in Brotherhood. I mean, if you're gonna have a game set in Rome, you gotta have the Colosseum somewhere. But it would be just kind of a waste to only use it once or twice. So yeah, there's a pretty there's a pretty cool mission that happens there in Brotherhood. I will get a, I will get around to doing a thread for Brotherhood at some point. I know not when that will be though. I only need one trophy to plat that game. Let me guess, it's one of the online ones? No! Oh, really? Yeah, it's to uh, sweep like four or five guys with the uh, with the halberd. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. So I just need to like load in, find a big group, drop a smoke bomb, and whack away. That, that game had a really cruel trophy list, I swear. <laughs> I don't know if it was, I was going to say, if I got that close to plat, I don't know if it was that bad or not. Well, it's just, there's one trophy that has you, that you need to get all the bonuses, get 15 different bonuses in one multiplayer match, and um, unless you are playing, like, perfectly, there is, there is no way you're getting 15 different bonuses in a single match. Really? I... I'm like, I don't, I think I tried multiplayer like once or twice, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't good enough to get all that, so. I had to boost for it. I, I, there was, there was one multiplayer game I got like 14 different bonuses. If I had just played a little better, I would have gotten it legit, but I, I had to trophy boost for some people to. How did an aerial assassination fail? Those guys didn't know I was there. I don't know, physics glitch or something? I guess, that doesn't make any sense. Those guys had no idea I was there. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Mr. Do-Gooder there. But yeah, it's, it's kind of funny looking at Revelations trophies list because holy god, it is so much easier than Brotherhood. It's like Ubisoft realized, okay, that that was a little much. Oh, maybe it's just two I'm thinking of then, just straight up AC two, oh, not yeah. Brotherhood. Yeah, that's what, that's 
Uh, yeah, I vaguely recall a sweep five guys with a long weapon in, bro in two. I only played the multiplayer like once or twice, and at that point, of course, everybody was really good at it, and it was just like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> I see some of these people who have prestiged it online like 50 times, <laughs> and I just have to wonder, how many hours do you have to put into Assassin's Creed Online multiplayer to get that? It's, it's to get that high? Yeah. Sort of like with Watch Dogs, I got that too. Uh, both Unity and, and Watch Dogs given to me as gifts. Um, and so I, you know, oh, I'll play some Watch Dogs. I haven't played that yet. And the online is surprisingly active. You, know, you don't have any trouble invading people or getting invaded, but the problem that you run into is that sometimes you, they'll just stick you with somebody who's ridiculously overpowered. I see. And so it's like, you know, playing Dark Souls or something and get invaded by a level 120, you're just like, Jesus Christ! I remember that one time I got invaded in Demon Souls, I was fighting some guy, and all I really remember about that fight is we neither of us could kill the other, so at one point uh, we were just chasing each other around a giant dragon bone, and the fight was going absolutely nowhere, so I think I may have killed him, or I got killed, or I stopped playing, but yeah, that fight took like 20 minutes. <laughs> These poor British guys, the only thing they have to do during the day is guard a chest. It was only three weeks from retirement, damn it. And these guys get paid terrible if that guy only had 10 RS on. Yeah, but it's always, uh the thing where you're you're looting them down and you know you have to collect so much for a trophy or whatever you're like these guys get paid shit why don't they just run away oh yeah this is probably my favorite uh, secret a magnificently surreal portrait I, I would agree with that made of vegetables weird the people who the people in their spare time, artists painting stuff like that. I mean, I want. I, I hate. To, Guess they had acid back then. Yeah, I hate to judge how they spend their free time, but seriously. I mean, did he think the Emperor Rudolf the Second was really fruity? He was weird. Where does he get the idea for that? Unfortunately, we can't ride the fan blades, the windmill blades, to the top uh, from the ground at least. And I think they're just no. Maybe I can ride them up. Er, okay. Yeah, I think. I think it is possible to get onto those things. It's just kind of a weird jump you have to make. Oh, hey, it's James Kidd. Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. Uh, there's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. 
I, I, I knew the twist here that James Kidd is a woman in this game's reality, but, you know, it's, it's, I don't think it's that big a deal. Well, it was one of those, you know, the first time you hear him, you're like, does, it sounds just a little bit off. Yeah. It's, I mean, a lot of people were saying that, oh, I totally saw he was a woman coming, but I don't know. His, his voice sounds really youthful and strange, so I don't know. It was, it was kind of surprising to me. Like, well, I figured it was a woman's voice, but I know it's really common to use women to voice young men because they're adults. Exactly. But, yeah, you know, like... Not the best example, but Bart Simpson is voiced by a woman, so... Yeah, he, he's the classic example, I think. So, yeah, in a lot of games where they need little boys or young men, they'll use women just because, you know, it's a lot easier to direct a 30-year-old lady than an 8-year-old boy, I think. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's a woman's voice, but, oh, they're probably just using it because... And then I was like, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. One thing with... Uh... I, th I'm I think you fail this mission if a bell gets rung. But the thing is with guards, even if they've been berserk darted, if they'll see the dead body and then they'll go run for the alarm. So you kind of have to be careful when you're supposed to be sneaking around, even if you're not, even if you are causing a tremendous ruckus. But to be fair to Kid, there are quite a few guys lurking around. It's not like some skeleton crew. Yeah, four of them. Be careful! <laughs> yeah, I think I went on a murder spree during this mission. I just fucking killed everyone! It's easier that way. It is, but I kind of like to do as Assassin's Creed missions whenever I can stealthy. Because even though it would be a lot simpler to uh, just kill everyone, I feel it doesn't really show off the game enough to just kill everyone in sight rather than show the stealth stuff at least. Make an attempt at least. I mean, sometimes I just say screw it and kill everybody. But <laughs> sometimes it's just funner going on a murder spree. It, it really is. It's sort of like playing uh, Hitman. Where, okay, I'm gonna play this, you know, through and get Silent Assassin, and then you go back and replay it and just kill the shit out of everyone. Yeah, because sometimes you just sneaking around gets boring and you just want to spice things up. Right. Like Blood Money, that uh, Christmas party level, do it right once, and then go back and kill all the guests and everyone, and the body count at the end of it's like 200 or something. Jeez. And the newspaper article you get after that is just great. One detail I kind of find funny in this game is that if guys are chasing you and you try to hide in bushes, they'll actually yell at you to get out of the bush because you're acting silly. <laughs> get out of there! Yeah, that's almost exactly what they say. Get out of there. I saw you go in there. Although sometimes their AI is so busted that they will watch you climb in the bushes and just be like, huh? Yep. Now, I've shown off a number of assassinations in this video, this LP so far. I have never shown a well assassination, and I think I will get to that uh, pretty soon. Although I have to say, well assassin... This, this game has nothing on Unity's confessional assassinations. It's just... Oh, dear. Just I haven't got to that part yet, but I think I'll need to. Yeah, there was a trailer for Unity that was released a few months before the game came out where Arno killed a guy in a confession. I, I thought that was pretty neat. Forgive me, Father, for I... <laughs> Berserk dart, berserk dart. <laughs> I mean, I could crit. 
one of the things berserk darts do really well is luring guys away uh, from target from areas you want to go. Yeah, because they all focus on the crazy guy. Yep. He gives out that. Oh, there's no well set around here. Damn it. Berserk the heavy. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Damn that guy. He, he totally ignores all of the the horseplay going on. Oh, they're just killing a crazy guy. You over there. Well, that went pretty well, I have to say. I didn't get spotted. Got the bell. Stand your ground. Please. I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Poor Thompson. Oh, and, they were just being nice. And, yeah, that, and that other guy. Now, in good old Assassin's Creed fashion, there are a number of routes you can take to where Lawrence Prinz is. And luckily, Prinz himself, he is not actually looking in the direction you're coming from. He's just looking off into the forest or something. So it's pretty easy to sneak up and kill him. I'm Did... trying to remember. I think I went upstairs. Yeah, but folks want to have fun, right? Not think about social injustice and stuff. Oh, oh. Prince says to keep your eyes peeled tonight. I mean, you guys may want to get on top of that whole brouhaha that was breaking out in the fields, but you know, whatever. Now, Lord, Prince's estate here, one of the very few big buildings you can go inside in this game, and through his house is a pretty direct route to where he is, but we're going to go off on a little side path. A little less well defended. I remember when uh, Assassin's Creed 3 was coming out, there was a lot of discussion on if the, if the whole issue of slavery was going to be represented in the game, and it turns out it was, but it didn't really play that much, that big of a role in the plot. In the plot. So they've kind of gone 180 on that, and uh, the major DLC for this game, Freedom Cry, is pretty much all about slavery and the slave trade, so it's an issue that's become more prominent with the change of setting and the America's uh, trilogy of Assassin's Creed. Well, at least they addressed it. Yeah. I mean, it would have, for a game, for a historical accuracy, for a game that tries to create, like, a historical setting, um, they, they, they had to address the issue of slavery in some degree in these games, but uh, before Freedom Cry, slavery is not a huge part of the plot. But yeah, that little gazebo in the back, that's where a prince is hanging out. Oh hey, the Berserkers won. Good for them. <laughs> Go team. Blah! Is he one of the ones that gives you the uh, little cutscene? He does, yes. See, look, he's just completely staring away from us. He's looking at the butterflies and smoking his pipe. Look, I can't even rock it. Steal his shit! Why 
I hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Robert! You see him, it's like part 28 or 29 something. Goodness. And so you murder your way through a plantation, and then one bell goes off. Never mind the gunshot. Oh, hey, those, get, those guys didn't get people. the memo. They're still standing there. There they go. Luckily, smoke bombs are a perfect uh, weapon item to use in chases because any guy that wanders into them gets stunned. It's not just if they're in the immediate area. When it goes off? Yeah. And good thing because there's like 50 guys chasing me at the moment. Touch me once I reach this house. Oh, hey, kid. Don't hope you don't mind me bringing like 50 British guards. <laughs> Did you ever in uh, any of the two just like kill people and then throw them into uh, hay bales or whatever to get that trophy about cleaning up the streets? Yeah, I remember that one. Kill like 10 people and just throw them in a hay bale. It's getting pretty crowded in here, three guys. <laughs> Luckily, the, apparently the hay bales uh, are... Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So... What's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. So that's all the plot stuff in Kingston for a while. Uh, but we still have a little more business here. As you can see from this video, still having 20 more minutes in it. So yeah, that huge block of red is Prince's estate. There's really no, not much need to come back there because only thing there are viewpoint, few collectibles. Not, we don't ever go back there again in the story.
<laughs> Take that. I have to say, I really like couriers in this game because with all the different kinds of ammunition you have for items in this game, uh, couriers are pretty much an insta restock. I mean, from. Loot pinata. Yeah, from that guy, I got five sleep darts and four berserk darts, so I have a full stock again. And what I liked, the courier system was first introduced in 2, you had those Borgia couriers who showed up every now and then. Um, I liked in that game that the couriers, when they would get up on the rooftops, the regular guards would start chasing them. So you can have like 50 guys chasing after the same courier, but all for different... What do you want, Englishman? Edward Canway. I'm here to warn you of danger. And I'm Welsh. You all look the same to me. Why should I need your warning? My life is all danger. I may have brought it on you. <laughs> this means you owe me. As it happens, I could use a man to help free some of my friends. Slaves, you mean? Brothers. Warriors. The hope of the Maroon. Doesn't sound like my business, mate. All I need is for you to mingle with your countrymen. Listen to hints for where my friends are held. Fine. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's really not much to this mission. You've got an eavesdropping part, and then you rescue a couple guys. I think I rescue one guy, and they just sort of cut to the end, because once you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> that guy's laugh. Let's have another round. Big fist. Are you buying? I just lost me job. I mean, you could go and kill those guys, but I'll be nice to them. He's a guy who's high on life. That, that's a, let's say yeah, that. they're just a couple of poor drunks. There's no need to kill everyone we see. Now jobless drunks. Call you a turd? Uh, yeah, I think I heard deaf turd. I'm not, I'm not really sure what word that come, came from. I'm not too good at this whole eavesdropping thing, I swear. Yeah, I would usually do it from the rooftops just so I didn't have to deal with other issues. Yeah. What did he do? But I kind of wanted to remain close to these guys just so you could actually make out the voice acting instead of just relying on the subtitles. Never could do for the man myself. Overbearing, overweening, overpriced, and grossly overweight. And underwhelming. Maybe here. The walls have ears and you can we follow. We must warn the others. <laughs> you 
got the information I need, mate. No! I've heard of your kind, ass assassin. Don't hurt me! All I want to know is where this slave is. Do you know of anyone being held? Especially... Please! Let me live. My wife and children. Come on, then. Out with it. Look near the windmill. See? Was that so hard? Oh, I must have been mistaking a future mission with that one. That was just eavesdropping stuff. I see shanties. I guess I got around. I guess I get around to it later. I think I left, in, in spite of my uh, policy against showing all of the collectibles, I do think I made it a point to leave all the shanty collections in. Oh. <laughs> Poor bastard. I love the kneeing kills. He's just standing up here minding my own business. I mean, you'd think that would at most give guys a broken leg or something, but apparently in video games, people can die from really strange causes. Like in the Uncharted games, apparently if you pull someone off a ledge, you'll just kill them instantly no matter how far they fell. Like, a guy could be like two feet above the ground, you pull him off a ledge, he dies instantly. Although there's that one guy, and I can't remember which one of the games it's in, but you're... I found your men. And I found where his brothers are kept. Help me release them. No, mate. I've settled my debt. Meddling with slaves is none of my affair. I doubt there's even a Templar behind it all. All affairs of freedom are assassin's affairs. What is your price? What? A man without principle must be moved by coin. How much do you need? There is a key I'm looking for. Belongs to a set I've been stripping off Templars. The Templar keys? I thought they'd been destroyed. I'm not the only one who knows about them, then. If we find it, it's yours. You have a deal. Let's go get your friends. Like that. The guy who can kill, like... The guy who can throw a grenade into a crowd of four guys the drunk and then laugh about it, pretty much. I help you now. Well, I can't blame Nathan for that. I laugh every time I throw a grenade into a crowd of four guys. <laughs> he, he's, he's just so proud of himself. That's what I Keep love. Keep them busy. Your allies are under attack. Yes, that's what I told them to do. It's their job. He's trying to give us a slip. Look at that. I, I hate when guys do that in this game. They just sort of parry your uh, air assassinations, even though they realistically had no Didn't idea what was out there. Yeah. It's, it's so strange. But yeah, there's there's really nothing interesting about this mission. You go around, you free slaves. It's, Thank that's you. About it. Hurry, to my bureau. It's one of those missions, you see it the first time, you get the future. <laughs> Where to next? Uh, that's enough work for one night. Or do you grow fond of it? That's it. No Templar. What about the key? The Templar did not show himself. You will have your key next time. No, Anto, there is no next time. <laughs> when you discover your conscience, or admit how badly you want the key, there will be a next time. Well, he's got you there. Yeah. And as it turns out, Edward Kenway's, uh, I mean, he discovers his conscience, uh, it's, it's pretty soon after. Oh, hey, Anto. How you doing? Too bad you can't pickpocket him. He is also unaffected by smoke bombs. 
Although Assassin's Creed 2 had the funnest, important NPCs wandering away after a conversation thing, where you could grab them and throw them around. <laughs> ah. Yep, Leonardo just wandering away, you can pick him up and throw him around. Yeah, I still think one of my favorite things to do was kill guys on rooftops and then just throw them into crowds. <laughs> <laughs> or, ah! or throwing them into the ocean, because it doesn't count as a kill. Oh, in it, yeah, flinging innocent people into the water, because none of them can apparently swim. Just like in this game, exploding an explosive barrel near a crowd of people, not directly killing them, so it doesn't count. Turn. Have you brought your conscience? I want my key. Patience is a virtue. Expecting company. You may have your key sooner than you think. Help us defend the Bureau. The men we freed will help. Again, I could probably do all this myself in yeah. sleep. Yeah, they're kind of shitty. So yeah, one of these missions, you just kind of get the picture of, there's a there's, you have to defend uh, the, the assassins who are, like, standing around and taking very inaccurate slashes at the enemy. This reminds me of so many games. Defend, which means hang out here while waves spawn. Okay, yeah. great. But now, we actually go get to hunt down these idiots before they actually get to us. The only thing that happens when the time runs out is the guys will start bum rushing the assassins. So yeah, we're actually not doing a whole lot of defending. I am glad you showed up when you did. I'm sorry I have no key to give you, but... No, the key can wait. Whoever did this, I want to teach them a lesson. The Templar's name is Kenneth Abraham. He's part of an ongoing war with the Maroons. But we have held strong and will not be defeated. Let me devise a plan. Alright, one more mission. This is... This... This is sort of a typical assassination mission. You have a big area where he might be, you go and find him. And but, then you stab him. But we have to, have to actually start the mission, of course. Oh, but look at that! I didn't do anything! Uh, okay. See, what, what happened there was, I did the human shield thing, but that stupid sniper didn't actually take the shot. But you can't human shield someone unless they die immediately after. So what happened is is, is that he just sort of died on his own. <laughs> and what I did there was, ju I disarmed a uh, swift guy, got one of his daggers, and then killed his friend with it. Uh, disarming swift guys is the only way you can get daggers in this game. Throwing knives? Yeah, or, yeah, throwing knives, but the same thing. But yeah, there's an Abstergo challenge for disarming and then killing a, a swift guy with his own weapon. So that's what I'm doing here. Pal, could, could you not do that, please? Help. Thank you! <laughs> that guy ragdolled in pretty bad <laughs> Just doing a little yoga. <laughs> Plan, but it won't be easy. 
Abraham is well connected and his pockets are deep. But we have located a man in his inner circle. We will tail him until he reveals our target. Let me bring him to his end. Here he comes now. And if you attacked with your sword from the unicorn, it actually caused a lightning strike. Nice. Yeah, it was. I got that one. It was pretty weird to have something like that in an Assassin's Creed game. But Brotherhood is also the same game where you can play as Raiden in uh, the main game. So I guess that is that. <laughs> Although actually my first uh, gaming experience with Assassin's Creed was actually in Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, playing with the Altair costume. <laughs> But then MG, uh, Metal Gear Solid and Assassin's Creed crossed over again in Peace Walker, where you can do a leap of faith at some point into a hay bale. I remember that. Yeah. Pretty awesome, I have to say. Made the eagle noise and everything. Yep. I mean, apparently Kojima is a huge fan of Assassin's Creed, so I, I guess it suits him, but, you know, it's still nice to have. Well, he got fired from Konami. Maybe he can come work for Ubisoft. Yeah. And then these things can really go batshit. Yeah, Ko Kojima's really the guy who can spice up the plot line in Assassin's Creed, just completely throw it off the rails. Have the teams that, you know, they're like, okay, we've got all the historical accuracy, and then you have, you know, chicken hats and whatnot. Yeah. Just go for it. Fucking crazy. At this point. Now I want that! <laughs> at this point, why not? <laughs> Oh, hey, I actually don't think I even noticed Anto was there when I was reporting this. I had the camera focused on him, but I didn't notice he was actually there. Oh god, one of the missions in Freedom Cry pissed me off so much. Um, the object, the additional objective is to use dancers to distract a guard, to, to distract guards during one mission. But apparently, I, I must have sicked the dancers and the guards like ten, like three times, and it still wouldn't register. So I had to play the mission, the same mission for like maybe cumulatively about 45 minutes to actually complete that stupid additional objective. I was not... Prostitutes will not trigger! <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of what it was going for with me. So yeah, we need to find uh, Kenneth Abraham. The problem is you have to use Eagle Vision to do it, and you have to sort of zero in on the right guy in the green circles. Wow, Anto apparently has a great set of lungs. He's not even on the radar. How is he... This mission makes no sense. How is he going to be alerted? I don't understand. This area of Kingston, it, it will be used in a later mission. I remember those that closed line. Surely our superior weapons give us the upper hand. Some maybe. Until I say you hear that horn, you're in trouble. And there's the guy I'm looking for. I was gonna say Berserk Dart! <laughs> you could do that. 
you can't be stealthy, be funny. fought your men in the mountains with no weapons to speak of and my army resplendent and yet you live and I die you lack the conviction to win Although it's kind of funny with this game because there are some times where the, the mission calls you for to kill someone, but later in the storyline it's actually confirmed Edward Kenway did not kill them. So Kenway's kind of bad at this whole assassin thing. There are at least two examples of that happening in the Black Flag story. Unreliable nar narrator making shit up. Yeah. It's kind of funny because for one of them, actually both of them, they Help do the me, whole death confession cutscene thing, and the guy, he, he doesn't die in, a, in the actual story. <coughs> oh, there we go. Ta-da! That's our third Templar key. And that's another video, too.